Welcome back to Marketing for Your Future. I'm your host, David Benfield. On the show, we talk to digital marketing experts to try to get some tips, some tricks of the trade, a little bit of advice to help you become a better marketer yourself. So joining me all the way from Oceanside, California is Kurt Cushino with Hype Life Brands. Kurt, how are you doing today? I am good. I'm good. Happy to be here. Excellent. So let's just jump right into it. Talk to me about Hype Life Brands. Uh, Hype Life Brands, I'm the founder and CEO, and I established the agency, uh, actually this is our 20th anniversary year. Um, we are a progressive brand development and marketing agency, and we specialize in working with lifestyle startups and challenger brands uh, that are in the B2C or D2C direct to consumer space. So we've always had a, a lot of uh, attention to culture above ground, below ground, and also a pretty deep understanding of millennials, especially and how they operate. Um, I'm an elder millennial myself, and that's been one of our <laughs> an elder big millennial. specializations here. An elder millennial, that's right. 1980 is the cutoff, so. <laughs> Me and you both, I guess I'm an elder millennial. That's so funny. Yeah. Yep. I'm an elder. So just helping brands, especially whether they're a startup or they're a challenger brand that's been at market for a while. Um, and, you know, we've danced with some pretty big names that needed help really trying to figure out the millennial generation and how to really connect with them, not just get likes or shares or whatever, but uh, really make a deeper connection and build brand advocates. And, you know, as you probably have heard, the millennial generation is unlike any other generation that's come before. And so it's thrown a lot of marketers, brands, big and small uh, advertisers, throwing them for a complete loop because a lot of the old, you know, the old tricks don't work anymore. Right. Um, so, and so figuring out how do you cut, cut through that noise with something meaningful. Right. So, well, well, it, that's, that was, I was going to ask you to follow up on that. So like, what have you found to be effective for millennials versus what used to be effective, right? Like what's, what's that big change? Uh, there's a there's a lot of different points or talking points. I mean, I think some of the big things are are one realizing that millennials are basically they're they're tribal. So they're you know we talk about digital natives and all this stuff, but like they're really tribal. So if you just think of tribal mentality, and you know if you hear things like oh millennials did this or that to this agency or uh, not to the agency, but to this industry you know, they killed this industry or that industry. That's just because they're able to spread word, you know, insanely fast or what we've, you know, some of the negative sides of it is this sort of cancel culture thing we've, we've heard a little bit about, but um, in the media, but really understanding that there's a, there's that tribal nature. And then also really thinking, and I don't just say this as a buzzword, but like really thinking about an authentic message that is really connected to a deeper purpose or what we call here, you know, starting with why, which if you've probably heard of Simon Sinek, um, that's a big piece of our brand development methodology. And because we work with mostly visionary founders, uh, entrepreneurs, CEO level, we're dealing with that very ground level strategy um, and positioning development. So starting with why is really important for us to you know, get to that message. So millennials need to hear that message and they need to have a, a, a purpose that they can connect to and, and see that. Don't, don't tell them you're this or that. You show them through your brand touch points, marketing, everything. Yeah, it's, it, <clears throat> I've noticed from, from my own experiences that uh, it's all, it is really all about the why. I mean, even, even when before I, before I switched right. over here and I used to work in news and stuff, you know, it, you, you got to get to that why first in order to get anybody on board with anything you do. Like you, you can't just tell people nowadays just to do it. It's like, well, right. Like, why? Right. <laughs> and you can't, you know, some of the, the old gimmicks, you know, you asked about the old gimmicks, like, uh, you know, we're having a sale or 10% off or, you know, discounts. I think it was David Ogilvy. Uh, I love one of his quotes from like way, way, way back that I read which was something like any asshole can put on a sale. I believe that was the direct quote. Um, and that really, it's true. That really just sums it up. It, yeah. it really just sums it up. I mean, that is not compelling. It's not starting with why is emotionally compelling and millennials get hit with so many more marketing messages than generations like Gen X and baby boomers right. did in the past that that filter is super high. So you have to figure out that emotional connection is one of the big ways to cut through and, and crafting a message that hits that is a definite, takes us, you know, 
our form, it's a, you know, we have a senior team here that puts all this together. It's not just like make some banner ads and come up with a snappy tagline. You know, there's a lot more to right. it. Yeah. So basically, I'm, unfortunately, I mean, I can sit here and talk with you all day, Kurt, honestly, but uh, uh, we've, <laughs> we've unfortunately got to wrap it up. So, but, but really, it really is all about making sure that as we move forward, that that people understand why they should uh, participate in something or why they should purchase something. It's not just the fact that it could be cheaper. I mean, like you said, anybody can make right. something, can cut a couple of bucks off of it. No one cares anymore. It's like I would rather, I'd rather, I'd rather spend that extra ten percent if I know that I'm supporting a company that supports like-minded causes or sources their stuff in an exactly. appropriate way or or things of that nature. So, Kurt, I really do appreciate exactly. you being on the show today, man. I hope you have a fantastic day. If you'd like to learn more about Kirk Casino and Hype Life Brands, head to dailyadbrief.com. I'm your host, David Binfield, for Marketing for Your Future, and we will catch up with you next time. Have a great day, everybody.